to be looking at how to get started with using Adalo's API integration to connect with an external data source like Airtable. This is useful if you would like an action in your app, such as a form submission, to maybe create or update a record in Airtable. Currently, you can get started with a 14-day free trial of Adalo's integration pack to start working with APIs. So that's really helpful and handy uh, to start with. There are a number of use cases where we may want the users of our app to be able to add or update records in our database. For example, adding recipes, uh, local trails that you may have discovered, travel itineraries, uh, public profiles, or any type of user-generated content that can typically be submitted through a form or a series of inputs. So for this tutorial, our app is going to be a really simple meal tracking app that a user can use to keep a food journal that they can easily submit to their personal trainer or nutrition coach. So it's only a couple of screens in this app. They essentially would just be able to log in on their phone and create a journal entry for their meals so that they can pass along that information to their personal trainer or nutrition coach. The coach can then access all of their clients' entries in one central Airtable database. I've already gone ahead and set up our Airtable base to include the fields that we'll want to have in our form in Adalo. We have the username, which is going to be uh, the full name, the meal type, which will be uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner, or a snack. We have a short description of the meal and a field for each of the macronutrients that we want to track for the meal, as well as total calories and a yes or no question for the client of whether or not they'd want to eat this meal again. So this is going off a, a meal plan that maybe a coach has provided to the client and they're looking to get feedback as well as that journal entry. And then we also have a field for meal time to track when uh, things are being eaten. So that's everything that we want to track. Let's head back over to Adalo to get our Airtable database connected to our app. We'll click the database icon here and we'll scroll down. And as you can see here, this is what I mentioned previously with the integration pack, 14 day free trial if you want to test it out. Essentially, we want to add an external collection. So we'll click add collection. And we're going to call this collection client meals. We'll need to add our API base URL from Airtable. So we'll head back over to Airtable. And we can find that information by clicking help here. And then API documentation. If we click on authentication, and then we can just copy and paste in this URL here. This is the URL of our Airtable base. As you can see, it ends in client space meals. That is the name of our base. So we're just going to copy that. Everything from the HTTPS call. And we will just head back over to Dalo and paste that into our API base URL here. We'll also need to add a authentication parameter. So our authorization key, uh, our bearer token from Airtable. So we can click add item. And in our case, we want to add a header and the name of the header is gonna be authorization. And this value we'll need to grab from Airtable from that same spot that we were before. And you'll just be able to click here, show API key, and then your API key will be shown and you can copy it and paste it into that field. Great, so I've gone ahead and copied in my API key and now we can click next. 
And as you can see in all of the calls, now we have our Airtable URL that's been automatically generated and populated in here uh, so that when the API makes a call to our base, the URL is already there. So now we just need to select our endpoint. We want to create a record in Airtable when a user submits the form in our app. So we'll select create and create is a post call. We'll get into patch calls in the next video, which is the call that we use to update existing records instead of creating new ones. But for now, we're just going to go with this create post call to our URL. So that's done and we can click next. And to run a test here, we'll need to add at least one record in our Airtable base. So let's add a breakfast item into our base first. So we can close out this help. And we don't yet have a user set up in Adalo yet, but we can just put in a test user for now. And we can add breakfast as well as a short description. Uh, so we'll go with a burrito. And we'll say veggies and eggs. And our total carbs here will be 42 in grams and we'll go fat and protein. And our total calories as well as if we need again for sure would want a good breakfast burrito and the meal time we can just double click in here and pick a time as 30. perfect so we have a record now in our Airtable database that's being uh, connected to Adalo by the API and so now if we head back in and we run a test awesome so it looks like we did get the records, uh, the right record from Airtable. So we have our test user, our breakfast, burrito, and everything that we just entered. Uh, but we did get an error here. And so it says we couldn't find the results uh, and that we need a results key to work in the get all call. And so if we head back, to this call here. So it's that get the get call is getting records from the database. So what the error is saying is that we actually need a value here in this results key. So we can see in our API documentation here that under the client meals table and the list records that in the example response here, the record is under this records array. So everything that will be returned is actually in this records array. And so that's what our results key is here. So if we type in records, that lets the API know this is the array to look for uh, inside of to get the records from our Airtable base. So now if we click next and run that test, Test successful, perfect. So everything is working as expected now. And let's create the collection. And then we can see if we open it up, the client meals external collection, we have all of those fields mapped from our Airtable database. So everything there is ready to go and be used in our Adalo app. Now we just need to add our form. So we'll click this big plus sign here and we're gonna add a form element. We can just drag it into our add meal screen here and we'll select client meals as the data collection that we want to connect to. And here, what we want, to, what we want the form to do is to create a new client meal. And in the field section here, 
what we need to do is actually delete any fields that we don't need. So anything that isn't mapped to our Airtable database, we'll get rid of those. So we actually don't need this ID field and this created time field. So we just have now all the fields that actually have a corresponding field in our database. Perfect. So on the screen here, you can see that it gets cut off in this uh, preview, but in the app itself, you'd be able to essentially just scroll uh, with your thumb on the screen in the mobile app to be able to see the remaining fields that need values uh, on the ad, ad meal. And at the bottom will be a button for submitting that form. And so we just wanna make sure that that is correctly lined up. So when the create client meal button is clicked, we want it to create a client meal. So great, looks like everything is good to go here. And now we can just test it all out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually, uh, let's get rid of this meal here. We're gonna create a new user once we've tested this. So we're gonna sign up with test test.email and username. We'll go with a more famous Tessa and click sign up. Great, and now we can add in our meal. So username, uh, we'll just put right as our uh, full name as we did in the sign up. Meal type is breakfast. And again, we'll do the burrito. And our carbs, we'll go 42. Our fat was 20.3. And our protein is 18.6. And we definitely eat it again. And we'll change this time to, well, let's go 9.21 a.m. Sounds good. Okay, so we can create that client meal. And now if we head back over to Airtable, there it is, perfect. So we have our username, we have everything that we inputted, that we'd eat it again, and uh, the time from that meal entry and that's it that's awesome so that's how you can use the adalo api integration to create records in an external collection such as an airtable database